Calico versus Goods. Now, honestly, I'm not even going to lie. This was not a battle that I wanted to see at first. But then when I really thought about it, I was like, you know what? This could be interesting because we know that Goods has a way of slick talking, you know, that kind of swag rap trying to belittle his opponent. We know Calico just has a way of really talking to his opponent's soul. And, you know, like rounds, every round with Calico is just catered to his opponent. And that's one of the things I always respected about him. Now I got this Cal 2-1. I feel like the first round was super clear. Cal came in there snapping. You know, say what, say what you will about the angles, but the way that nigga crafted that shit together and the way he was talking to Good Soul in that first, you could tell it really bothered him. Like, it, you could tell it bothered Goods the way he was talking to him. Because in the second round, Goods kept referencing that shit. And I was just like, okay. But I feel like Goods first definitely wasn't enough to match Cal's. It was just a bunch of indirect money bars with, yeah, that's cool, but talk to your opponent bro like that that's one thing a lot of people mess up with they just have a bunch of indirect shit but if you have shit that could go for anybody it's still got to kind of be targeted at your opponent like how rum nitty does sometimes like he'll say some shit that could go for anybody but it'll be so fired that you just kind of be like damn it hits the opponent hard but he was just like goods first round just felt like he was just flexing all over the place so you know definitely gave that shit to cal second round i feel like goods up this game a bit but Cal, like, he came right back in with that angle, drove it home. You know, very witty wordplay. I feel like his second round was just way too much for Goods. Again, like, Goods turned up. You know, he kept saying the no made up shit and all that. But the, the second round, I feel like Cal still was just, he just had way too much for him. His wordplay, his delivery, how direct he was being. It was just way too much. Like, money bars ain't gonna really hold up when a nigga's talking to your soul. Like, now in the third round, that's when I feel like Goods got serious. He ran away with the third to me. I feel like Cal was kind of stumbling and fumbling through his third a little bit, but Goods turned up the heat. Like his third round felt kind of loaded Lux-esque. Like he was trying to talk to Cal's soul, start talking about his dad, talking about things that he did about when they first met and all that shit, which it was kind of crazy. I don't know if that was a rebuttal when you think about it, but when Cal mentioned how he was the same nigga in that patent that he is now that he was in that patent leather, leather vest when he met Goods, and then Goods in his round referenced that patent leather vest, like this be the type of shit be having niggas think the battles are scripted because cal mentions the vest and then goods turns around in his round and mentions the vest and i don't know if that was a, a rebuttal that he just stuck in the middle of his round because i know calico be doing that shit sometimes where he'll rebuttal and then he'll just put it right in the middle of his round and just mix it with his rhymes like he did when he battled chess that's one of the things i always like fucked with about cal he'll take a rebuttal and stick it in the middle of his written and make it work i don't know if that's what goods did but yeah, that was kind of crazy how he did that. But the way Goods put that whole round together had lots of wordplay, lots of heavy hitting haymakers, bars, you know, and I'm a, I'm a fan of lyricism. So that's, I feel like that was Goods' best round, the third. I think he ran away with the third, but, you know, again, he was down 2-0 going into it. So he really had no choice. It was either win this third and dodge death or lose it and get 30. But I got Calico winning this one clear, first and second. First round, super clear. Second round, still clear, but it was a little closer third goods got that he finally turned up but i will say goods definitely had a lot of lyricism in this battle he's definitely stepping his pin up but one thing he has to work on is being more direct with his opponents that's the only critique i really have for goods if he talked to his opponents more like the way he did the rock where he talked to rock all three rounds he could be a problem because he clearly has the lyrical ability to put that shit together but shout out both these guys they both definitely showed up i got cal 2-1 but they did their damn thing though